colossal objects in space. It's so powerful, it can change the course of light itself. It's a humbling reminder that there's more to this universe than meets the eye. In order to understand this mysterious substance, physicists on Earth are hunting down a very elusive particle they believe exists in the subatomic world. This is CERN the European Center for the Study of Particle Physics. It's the home of the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Hidden deep underground, the Large Hadron Collider is the only place on Earth powerful enough to bring this mystery particle into existence. At 27 kilometers in circumference, that's 17 miles, it straddles the border between France and Switzerland. As we enter the accelerator tunnel, we'll experience firsthand the fastest chasing on Earth. Dark matter has been around since the beginning of time. The very beginning. On the other side of the world, another group of physicists is working on creating their own dark matter particle. They're doing it here, at CERN the world's largest research center for the study of particle physics, located outside Geneva, Switzerland. Here, thousands of scientists from many nations have joined together to track down answers to humankind's most complex and age-old questions concerning the nature of matter. Hidden beneath CERN's sprawling 450-acre, two-square-kilometer campus and the surrounding forests and farms of the European countryside lies the biggest and most complex machine in the world, the Large Hadron Collider, otherwise known as the LHC. Inside it, two beams of protons travel in opposite directions around the ring at incredible speeds. The protons then collide inside four gigantic detectors. The LHC is a giant particle racetrack. Instead of fuel, these subatomic races are accelerated around the track by electric fields and steered by high-powered magnets. The particles are then guided towards collision in the core of each detector. The largest detector is appropriately called Atlas. It weighs 7,000 tons and took 15 long years to build.
almost eight stories tall. Atlas is the size of a cathedral. More than 3,000 scientists from 175 institutions in 38 countries work in collaboration on its experiments. In essence, Atlas is an enormous microscope aimed down into the subatomic realm. With billions of protons traveling around the track in opposite directions, the ceiling can seem more like a demolition derby than a racetrack. When two protons collide, hundreds of new particles are formed. The incredible energy of the collision can produce particles with far greater mass than that of the two protons that created them. This is exactly what physicists predict will happen if they create a dark matter particle with great mass. Every line in this collision display reflects the presence of a newly created particle. The curvature of the line tells us the particle's momentum. Atlas records the collisions with several devices that are arranged in concentric layers. Each device is like an extraordinary camera, specially designed to detect and record different kinds of particles. According to Sir Isaac Newton, momentum travelling in opposite directions must balance out, as it does in this display. The yellow squares show an even distribution of particles and momentum. In the case of a dark matter particle, Look at that planet. One of the Russian space probes that, en that entered that planet didn't even last three hours. It lasted less than an hour or so. Because it's extremely hot. The space probe went in there in Centauri, also known as the point of stars in the constellation called Centaurus, the Centaur. Next is the Southern Cross. Another name for the Southern Cross is called Crux. It is a very famous constellation in the Southern Hemisphere. Used lots of flags from different countries which are in the Southern Hemisphere. Now these are the... I want to show you what these celestial bodies would look like if we could see them up close personally.